Hey guys, so I'm here doing some spiritual readings. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these uh, readings are general, they're for the collective. So if anything here doesn't resonate, I want you to just discard it. Leave it for the Leo who does need to hear it, okay? All of the cards in the spread will be about you, so there is no gender. Uh, if I pull a queen, I'm still talking about you even if you're a guy. If you need to book a private personal reading, that information is in the description below, as well as the pinned section of the comments. I've also linked my other channel there where I do love and general readings, if you want to check that out. So we're just doing a little energy check. We'll check the conscious energy, the subconscious energy, and we'll pull some advice. Okay, so the overall energy here is the Seven of Wands. You know, the Seven of Wands is sticking up for yourself, drawing a line in the sand there, you know? Um, it's all about self-protection, protecting the your energy, you know? Uh, we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> there's some type of petty-ass communication here, you know, and, and not on your end, but you, you know, I'm, you're showing up like this. You know, you're being honest and you know <laughs> you're moving about things intelligently but i feel like someone else they like to you know cause smoke wherever they go you know they like to just like there's just always a lot going on with them and you are trying to just remain patient and hold back so maybe this energy is more like being kind of triggered it's like something there's an energy here and they have a very childish mentality like they're a very petty person and they like to get a reaction out of people but i feel like you know you already know that this person is like this and you're just in this queen of swords energy where like you know it's you're not putting up with no crap anymore you're just tired of it I've, now subconsciously it's kind of like you're trying to you know, let me just show you these cards. We have the Chariot, the Five of Wands, the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Star. Okay. You know <laughs> you're a triggered person. You know that this that people know how to piss you off, but like you still are triggered, but you're trying to really like stay at bay you know but i feel like it's actually hard for you like you know one is you know like you know whoever this energy is i feel like they've just done a lot to you like there's been a lot of like drama and fights you know this is whoever this energy is like you know they know how to trigger you they know what buttons to push so you know subconsciously it's almost like you have it in check you know, it's like you realize that you, you know, the reason that the Queen of Swords is here is like you really have like figured out, I, I feel like you've healed to a point where like you, you really know how to deal with certain energies here. It's like, 
honestly, there is no more pain left about this situation for you. Like, this Three of Swords is surrounded by this energy. So, like, subconscious, subconsciously, if this was, like, you know, a friendship or a relationship or even a family relationship that just, like, fell apart, like, you are no longer really hurt by it. You're just triggered by the person, you know? It's like, um, you know, I feel like that what whatever is going on here like you've been through the rough with this person for so long that like you know it, you just have this person completely figured out and like you you're just done here you, you just can't do it anymore you know it's like but yet subconsciously you know it's like they are still able to trigger you and you are paying attention to that. You know, it's like, you know that this person is still able to get at you. So you haven't healed completely. And so I feel like you're kind of reflecting on that. It's like, why am I still triggered by this person? You know, because I feel like you've, you've literally spent a great deal of time trying to, you know, get over whatever the hell the situation was, you know? And, and I mean, like you have closed it out, but it's like, you know, I don't know why you still have to deal with this person, but for whatever reason, it's like you continually try to be patient with this person, but the pettiness makes you just want to like flip the f out and go off Leo style, you know, like all of a sudden there's a bunch of fire energy, but you don't like you are remaining calm, but like subconsciously they're still able to get at you. And now it's like all you're paying attention to is how to close that out. How do I not, how do I not get triggered by this person? Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, the Two of Swords behind it. The advice is don't give them any energy. I mean, I know that's really hard because your subconscious energy wants to give them all the smoke, you know, like, <laughs> like just burn their ass up. But in the advice, it really is to just not even, to just not take it there, you know, to literally choose your battles wisely and to just be genuine, you know, like the real you, which here is like this very like queen of swords energy, like, you know, unmesswithable, you know, like, like you holding your composure and now you're really like focused on how to not be triggered. And I like that, you know? And I feel like the advice is the, the best way to not be triggered is to just sort of like keep your distance and stay in that Queen of Swords energy with this person, you know, or the High Priestess energy, you know, and this Two of Swords energy is kind of like, again, choosing your battles with this person, you know, knowing when to speak up for yourself or protect yourself and other times where you don't need to, like you recognize that they're just trying to get a reaction out of you and you just let them, you just shoo. And I don't feel like it's that easy for you, but like, that's kind of what you're trying to learn to do here is to like, just not be bothered by this specific person and their antics, because I feel like that's what it is, that they just, they love them some drama and you hate the drama, but at the same time want to, you know, jump down somebody's throat when they're petty. But I do, you know, it's like you're really trying to be an adult here. <laughs> I just feel like it's hard. Low key, you want to beat somebody the hell up. Let's see. <laughs> we have flow. Go with the flow as water trickles down a stream and do not hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Even the universe is like Leo. Chill out and sit the hell down. Don't punch nobody in their forehead, okay? Just just let this person do what they do and try not to let it bother you. All right, I'll see you guys soon.